Hi there, students. Inchoate, an adjective, inchoate. It talks about something that's at a very early stage. It's embryonic, nascent, if you like. It's something that's beginning but hasn't developed or formed properly yet. So you could have an inchoate idea. You've just thought of it, but you haven't developed it. You haven't thought about it. You haven't investigated into it. So it's something that's growing. Um, a baby that has just been conceived within its mother's womb. This is inchoate. It's not grown yet. It's going to form and become a person. But it's still growing. You could have an inchoate concept. Okay, you've got the idea, but you need to think about the applications, about how to use it. You could have an inchoate democracy or an inchoate government. It's a, a new government that is just starting to form. It hasn't got everything in the right place and it, it's not completely ready yet. If you think about Australopithecus, this is a, a very early form of of. Uh, human or an ancestor of man. This is an inchoate modern man. It's still developing. Notice we can also use inchoate to mean something that's imperfectly formed, imperfectly developed. It's disordered or incoherent. I'm certain incoherent and inchoate, these two words are deeply linked. So um, he found it impossible to express uh, what he wanted. He just felt inchoate rage, inchoate anger. So he knew he was really, really angry, but he hadn't worked out why he hadn't calmed down. Um, so it's disordered or incoherent. Um, maybe the computer that Charles Babbage built was an inchoate computer. It was imperfectly formed. It hadn't been developed yet. It was beginning. Notice you can use the word inchoate to talk about a legal form that hasn't been completed yet. Maybe it doesn't have the signatures or the stamps or the approval of the judge. It's sort of like a template. You could also use inchoate to mean something that doesn't have a distinct shape. It's amorphous. It hasn't coagulated into what it's really going to be. Okay, so inchoate, something that is embryonic, it's beginning, it's growing. Something that hasn't been perfectly formed. Something that is in disorder and is incoherent. It doesn't have a defined shape, it's amorphous. Okay, this word inchoate is a formal word. It's literary and informal. I think I'd probably give it an eight in formality. Um, if you could manage to use this word in one of your essays in an exam, you're going to sound really good. Um, I think it comes from Latin. I think it comes from incohatus which is the past participle of the verb to begin, to start. So clearly the, the, me, the meaning has been maintained over time. Okay, and remember this is very formal. Um, 
I think in the pub, if you use this, everybody's going to go, what? And what does that mean? Um, let's see. Elementary. This is an elementary idea. It's not developed. Okay, I think that's how you would say it. Um, the inchoate revolution. So the feelings of revolution and the plans for revolution were growing, but it wasn't ready yet. The authorities put down the inchoate revolution because they weren't prepared for, to uh, to uh, have their revolt uh, properly. They hadn't waited long enough. So it's got a bit of the idea of to go off at half cock. Yeah, to uh, if something's inchoate, you're not ready to show it to the public to use it yet it's something that's beginning and it's still not really uh, organized okay so inchoate a formal word notice as well the pronunciation i know it's got an h but it's silent inchoate you could have an adjective i'm uh, sorry an adverb inchoately inchoateness as well but inchoate, an adjective, embryonic, growing, forming, something at a very early stage, something that hasn't been completely done yet. So um, maybe I'm making a cake and I just put some flour and some eggs in the bowl. This is my inchoate cake. I need to put other things, I need to put it in a a dish and I need to cook it as well okay so incipient if you like something that's coming out so anyway enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon bye for now in code